Conscience Guide Team by Sheepdog and Shepherd. Conscience Guide Team 4.4 Conscience and the Hand Writing on the Wall. Une conscience coupable n'a pas besoin d'accusation. A guilty conscience needs no accuser. Hey Shepard, this would be a good time to tell him about Belshazzar. By the way, I didn't know camels are bilingual. Sheepdog is referring to Babylonian king Belshazzar and a hand writing on a wall. The hand writing on the wall has been featured or alluded to in many films. According to one account, when Belshazzar saw the hand writing on the wall, his color changed, his thoughts alarmed him, his limbs gave way, and his knees knocked. Clearly, the handwriting on the wall captured Belshazzar's attention. He summoned astrologers, sorcerers, and others who might be able to interpret the handwriting on the wall. None of them were able to interpret the handwriting on the wall. Finally, the queen reminded Belshazzar of a man called Belteshazzar. Belteshazzar was a man of excellent spirit, knowledge, and wisdom. He could interpret dreams, explain riddles, and solve problems. Belteshazzar was able to interpret the handwriting. The four words written in Aramaic were Mena, Mena, Tekel, and Parzin. Belteshazzar interpreted the Mena, Mena to mean that God had numbered the days of Belshazzar's kingdom and would bring it to an end. The Tekel meant that Belshazzar had been weighed and found wanting. The Parson meant that Belshazzar's kingdom would be divided up and given to the Medes and Persians. According to one account, the Babylonian king Belshazzar died that very night. Belshazzar's physiological response to the handwriting on the wall illustrates the interaction between conscience and physiology. His color changed, his thoughts alarmed him, his limbs gave way, and his knees knocked. Even before he summoned those skilled in the arts and sciences of the day, he knew that the hand and what it wrote indicted him. Belshazzar disregarded the warnings of his conscience and violated his innate moral code. He needed no other accuser than his conscience. What about you? Have you always acted above reproach in your marriage, family, business dealings, and interpersonal relationships? Or have you been weighed and found wanting? What is the handwriting on the wall of your life saying to you? Special thanks to voiceover artists Joel, Claude, and Rick. Special thanks to our references. Thank you for watching our presentation on matters pertaining to conscience. Please subscribe and offer your comments. Produced by Sheepdog and Shepherd, a.k.a. M. Gilbert Steiner, author of The Short Man of Nuremberg.